Are you curious about skills assessments and whether or not it makes sense to take those skills assessments and what it does to your LinkedIn profile? Hey, this is Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. I had this question come up from a network connection today. So I did a little bit of digging and here's what I wanna show you. I'm actually gonna walk you through this process. I'm actually gonna try to take one of these skills quizzes right now and see what happens. Where does it appear publicly, if at all, on my profile? So first thing, I noticed that under skills assessments in the skills section of your profile, you're gonna see a little link to take a quiz and then you click on there to learn more and it gives you a little bit of an overview so when i clicked on that section as of today it's may 19th 2022 it says check your skill level answer 15 multiple choice questions score in the top 30 percent and earn a skill badge and when i click on see more it's going to take me to a linkedin page where it explains the linkedin skills assessment and um, you can see a little bit of information on here in terms of creation of skills assessments um, scoring the skills assessment, everything, it's all kind of explained on here, so you can feel free to read through there. Now, I did notice they have a list of available skills assessments on LinkedIn, and they kind of outline, here are the ones that are currently available. I noticed this was updated five months ago, and I'm already seeing a little bit of inconsistency here, because if you look under technical skills, you can see these are sorted alphabetically, and when I go on my profile, I can actually see accounting is one of the assessments that's available. I'm not seeing it in this list under technical. Let's see if they have it under business skills. Nope, it's not there. Design skills, nope, it's not there. So it looks like they are adding more categories to this all the time. So here's what I would recommend for you. If you are going to take one of the skills quizzes, try to pick a category that you feel very confident that you're gonna score in the top 30%. Don't waste your time doing these for other categories. So as I scroll down, I expanded the full list. So I'm kind of looking through the full list right now. I'm scrolling down the list and just kind of making a mental note of any that I feel that I could score in the top 30%. I'm gonna pause this while I find one. All right, so after scrolling up and down the list, I really didn't find anything that's relevant to my area of expertise, which is marketing and social media and specifically LinkedIn. These are a bit broader categories right now, but I did find one, Microsoft Word. I use Word a lot, so I'm gonna go through and take the skills quiz now. So if I click on that, then I can see here's the Microsoft Word assessment. There are 15 multiple choice questions. I get one and a half minutes per question and I have to score in the top 30% to earn a badge. You must complete this in one session, so make sure your internet's reliable. You can retake it once if you don't earn a badge. We won't show your results to anyone without your permission. So there we have it. I'm gonna pause while I go through so I don't share the results with all of you, and then let's see what happens on the back end. All right, so now I'm at the end of the skills assessment and it says, unfortunately, you didn't pass. In six months, I'll get another chance to retake this assessment. In the meantime, LinkedIn Learning can help you prepare. So it looks like this to me is a little nod to help support LinkedIn Learning and not everybody can get into LinkedIn Learning for free. Some people have to upgrade to Premium or Job Seeker. Your library might have an access pass to that as well. But there is just an example. I'm a very heavy user of Microsoft Word, but I didn't pass that assessment. I'm not seeing any other tools in there that um, any other assessments in here that I feel like I would pass at that level. So I'm going to continue to research this issue. If I can find an assessment that I can pass, I'll show you what happens next. So hopefully this video was educational for you to explain the process and just demonstrate to you. And here it's saying I scored higher than 38% of assessment takers, but I need to score in the top 30% to earn a badge. So I'm gonna continue on that quest. If you have completed one of these, I welcome your feedback, drop a comment below. And in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you on LinkedIn. All right, so I found another quiz I'm gonna take. I'm gonna pause the video, give this a try, and let's keep your fingers crossed, see if I can score in the top 30%, and then hopefully I can earn a badge for my profile. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back after I'm done taking it. All right, so I just completed this one for SEO, and I'm drawing a little bit upon my background when I worked in corporate marketing, and also a little bit of my knowledge of SEO, and, and I do some research from it from time to time, I was actually pretty shocked that I got such a high score. In this case, LinkedIn is saying, my SEO assessment, I earned a badge. I'm in the top 15% of the 1.7 million people who took this skills assessment. And now you can see here it says, show your badge on your profile and in recruiter searches. So if I toggle that to on, I see it's saying search engine optimization, LinkedIn skill assessment badge. Now it's showing me jobs that are looking for SEO expertise. 
Um, and that's it. And at the bottom, how how was your experience with this assessment? I'll give them a five star to let them know. At the bottom, I see two options. I see post results and I see done. When I click on post results, let's see what happens. Okay, now it's pushing this out publicly, saying I just earned a skill badge for search engine optimization. Who's next? And I'm going to post this um, publicly on LinkedIn because one of my clients asked the question. So I'm saying posting this publicly to help answer a client's question, okay? And that's the only reason I'm really sharing it. I'm not looking for a job in SEO, but I wanna show you this is what shows on your profile. And I might actually add in search engine optimization SEO. I might put a couple of hashtags in there as well. There we go, click on post, and now it's gonna push it out as a public post. I'm also gonna click on done, and I wanna see what happens next here. So it shows that I have a badge for SEO. I can go back and retake the one, the Microsoft Word that I failed on. I'm not going to do that. When I go back to my profile, let's see what happens now. Let me navigate to my profile right now. And it should appear publicly on my profile. I wanna show you, show you rather where this appears on my profile. All right, so first place I'm seeing this appear publicly is underneath my activity section. No surprise, because I did post about this on LinkedIn. Let's see where else it appears. All right, so now I'm in my skills section, and I would assume it's gonna show in here, but I did notice that SEO is not actually one of the skills I have on my profile. So I'm gonna delete out a skill and add it in, and then let's see what happens. Aha, so I just discovered something. Now that I've added SEO, search engine optimization, to my profile, it appears as a skill in my profile. And it is showing as one of my top skills. You see here at the top, it says past LinkedIn skill assessment. And if the average person were looking at this, this is this is my view. I'd have to log in as someone else to see what they can see in this view. But I do see that it is showing that I earned a badge for this particular skill. So let me do this next. I'm going to just see if I can reorder and move this a little bit lower into my skill section, or I wanna see is perhaps this gonna be stuck at the top here. I'm gonna click on the pencil icon and then click on the ellipses, reorder. See, SEO is now at the top, so let me move over a couple of my other skills at the top on here. And let's see here. Let's say generating leads on LinkedIn is my third. There we go. And now I've reordered this. I'm gonna refresh my page to see is the SEO still sitting at the top of the profile in the skills section. I'm gonna go back up one level. And now I'm gonna scroll down to my skill section. Typically we can only see three skills on the profile and I'm just looking to see, has it moved those around now that um, I did do that categorization or is it still showing that at the top of my profile? So this is kind of interesting. Even though I've tried to reorder it and move it down, it is still showing. Let me try it one more time. Click on the ellipses, reorder. So I'm gonna move this up. It doesn't look like any of the changes actually uh, applied in there. And then maybe I'll put down generating leads on LinkedIn. I'll scroll down to the bottom. There's no save button here, which is a little bit odd. Close out of here. It doesn't look like it's saving the change. So I'm gonna try this again later, see what happens. But it appears right now, if you have completed a skill assessment, it's staying at the top portion of your profile. So that's something important to keep in mind, only doing assessments for skills that you really wanna highlight. Hopefully you found this video helpful.